everyone. This is Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. And this is actually Labor Day. Uh, I'm out here. Um, it was in the area of some boats, uh, actually some friends of mine. And what I'm going to give you guys is a nice, quick, brief, to the point walkthrough of what we have out here is a 2019 second owner Bayliner F18 element um, in really nice shape. Uh, if I was to just take this to the next level, uh, if I had a detailer come out and really um, hit this thing super hard because you guys know this particular color from whether it be fender rubs or, um, you know, sun fading tends to. Now, this is just moisture, but remember, um, whoever takes on this boat once a year, uh, it helps to wax it, and it has been. As far as the structural integrity of the vessel, once again, I'm not a surveyor or a main mechanic. I've been through it. You know, you've had a couple of nicks and scratches. This boat, for its first ownership, and uh, part of its second ownership was on dry stack stored. So, you know, uh, forklift prong legs, you know, tend to get... Uh, you know, scrapes and struggles underneath there. Um, this particular owner has actually touched some of that up and actually he got paid the $250 for matching paint um, in a couple of spots. And we can show you that on site. And actually, you can take the paint with you because um, there's plenty left over. Now, what I'm going to walk through, like I said, this is a second owner book. It is, I can call it probably safely at about 75 hours. Um, the first, first owners had it for, uh, two years and really just didn't use it much. This particular owner bought it at 40 hours and has not gotten the use out of it. The reason for the tear is simply, it's just too small for his family. It was a nice entry level idea. Um, but you know, five or six people at a time, it's just not going to work on any boat, even with a real nice mercury, uh, four stroke. Now, before I continue on, I want to just go over a couple of things on that Mercury. Uh, this is a second owner. We're under 100 hours. Your services are obviously up to date. Uh, the current owner has done actually some nicer upgrades. This boat did not come with a I will get into that conversation also. Um, I have to double check with my working partner. Uh, I got to run a serial number on the motor. Now, I know with Suzuki and Yamaha, it's only a one-time warranty transfer. Um, quite from what I remember, this, this motor had a five-year gold package. So what I have to do is just check with Mercury. Either you will have warranty extended or you won't. Um, it's either or. Uh, you're still real low on hours. And, you know, I can have a discussion in private on other ways how that can be handled. So let's just put that aside. Real quick, just so you know, it's mechanical steering, not power steering, as you would call it in the car industry. All right, let me walk around this side of the vessel. Okay, starboard side, same type of thing, pretty much clean. Now, <clears throat> this boat was dry stack stored, and then it was purchased and dry stack stored. This trailer here is actually oversized and overweight for this particular boat uh, they had a mix up in the order and uh, this trailer got upgraded so you whatever the listing price is of this boat you can get the boat by itself without the trailer minus three thousand dollars we just, just purchased this trailer in the last six months um, if you take the trailer where we're priced at he's still gonna get a loss on it but um, you know he's getting a bigger boat and once this is gone and we can use this trailer, simply we can move up to here and actually over to here for tongue weight. Um, it's set up now for this particular boat. Also, this wheel and spare are brand new. Um, the tires are in great shape. The trailer's been in and out of possibly the river here maybe three times, possibly four. So that will give you, you know, Bimini's in nice shape, although I will show you something on that. So that should cover just about everything. Now I'll get into the interior, which nobody's going to have any complaints. In fact, let's just take, you guys take a look here. You have a couple, couple little marks from your fenders and stuff. Prop shape. All right, here we go. 
I think there might be another prop for this. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think he switched over to the aluminum because of our oyster beds. Uh, not, um, you know, the stainless steel, once it digs in, you can really do some damage to that lower unit uh, if you don't know the water in the area. But, you know, if it, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. All right, I'm going to walk in the interior of the vessel. Guys, it's a real nice boat. Plain and simple, low hours. I was trying to get a uh, mechanic by here to just run a uh, engine report uh, to give me exact hours, but, um, you know, getting a mechanic this time of year is crazy talk. All right, uh, Bimini's in great shape. I do want to show you one thing, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, most of the fittings have actually been upgraded. Uh, to most, there's a couple that I think are still aluminum, uh, but most of them, as you can see, they've been upgraded to stainless steel. Uh, once the seller got the boat, he did not like the aluminum. Right here, if you guys can see, am I in the right spot? Oh yeah, right here. You guys see that little spot right there? Okay, right here. See that? See that basketball court? He was coming home hot one day and uh, been out on the water and actually backed in through the basketball court and snapped this. Okay, now you all know if you've owned a boat how pissed off you'd be for doing that. But there is a hard type fitting in here inserted with uh, JB Weld. And um, him and I basically beat on it after it was finally done. And listen, this is the strongest part of the Bimini right now, I'm telling you. So just so you guys know, that's there. Couple of nicks and scratches moving forward into the vessel. This boat also is pre wired for a trolling motor. I know it sounds crazy, uh, but a lot of these vessels are also made with T tops and for fishing. Um, it's got that M hull, which will allow you also. I've driven this vessel uh, in that uh, choppy water. It actually handles, it handles pretty good. Those of you that have ridden in M hulls know that. Um, you know, it's to me, it's kind of like in between a catamaran and <laughs> something else. But you got plenty of storage up through, anchors are going with it. What's being conveyed is what you see lines, fenders, uh, throw over, paddle, and covers that go with the boat. Uh, the original set of safety life jackets and there's also an extinguisher are staying with the vessel. I didn't undo this. As you guys can see right here, the cushions and everything, everything's in exact shape as you would expect for uh, this type of care. Windshield's in good shape. Uh, you got your rod holders, port and starboard. And let's just kind of go up over here. Your battery hookup is underneath on starboard side in the back here. All right, and then you guys can see the seating. Just cleaned it yesterday, but we got so much rain coming in, it's ridiculous. Live well, flip the switch in working motion. These two items are now also in addition to the boat. Uh, this was not cheap. Uh, I think finally by the time he got done, I don't know, it was a thousand, eighteen hundred, I don't know what it was. But basically what you got here is you got a Garmin um, touchscreen setup, and also this is new. Uh, the unit in uh, VHF. Now, if I can, I might be able to see on the back if you guys can just hold on with me for a second. I can't read it. Usually, they give me the exact model. Usually, it's like a DV or something. But a uh, real nice Garmin and your Jensen stereo is working. He also added the suicide knob, which isn't going to serve you as much on a mechanical steering boat and also of this size, also on an M hull. But, you know, I like to have it. So, go from there. Accessory and that. Bilge pump on. Navigation lights. That's actually the live well. There we go. And also with the Garmin, because you know what? It is smart to take it off the boat wherever you are. You guys know that. Real nice case to go with that as well. And what I'm going to do, a little OCD, I'd say, but... You guys want to take a look remember the seats reversible you got your cooler underneath and let's just take a look in here you know your nav poles once again cool underneath plenty of room if you want to put on a trolling motor 
Uh, only thing you can do is when you go fishing, you're going to just, uh, you know, take down the bimini because that's a bummer when you're doing that. So all about do it. Um, I'll try and have most of the information in the listing. Uh, I think initial listing price is going to be around $29, $29.5, without the trailer. Like I said, we're more than happy to keep the trailer, um, you know, just purchased. And especially because it'll work for a boat probably up to, uh, I think this bay liner is uh, F-18s, I think 18.6 or uh, around 18 to a 21 on uh, the next vessel. So there it is. Uh, no liens, no encumbrances. You have, uh, if you're going to get the trailer and do that, uh, it has, uh, I'm sorry, you guys. I know I've been saying uh, 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 um a lot, but most of you that know me, I went through the COVID and the coma and the vent, and uh, you know that medication still hasn't worn off on me yet. So short-term memory loss is a thing now for me. Uh, Oil-based hubs is where I was. Don't distract myself. You know, like I said, you got a you know a little fender rub here. This could use a little diesel. You know, doing this. Oh, like it, you're not going to walk up to the boat and be offended. It is what it is. So anyway, that'll do it out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com and BoatsInHotWater.com. Uh, Rob wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.